Hi and welcome to 5 Minutes with Jetstrap. Jetstrap is a really neat utility that lets you create web applications and websites really simply and what it's based on is a Twitter library called Bootstrap which provides developers with the key tools necessary to create a web app without recreating the, the wheel. Now Jetstrap builds upon that and lets you drag and drop elements to their right places using a really neat utility. So let's give it a whirl. If you go to uh, jetstrap.com, you should see something like this. And once you sign up with Twitter, Google, or GitHub, you should see something like this. Now, let's create a test website. Um, in this case, I'm going to create it as such. And I'm going to create um, using the starter template. Um, and once you hit create, you've got basically the bare bones components of a web page. Now you should actually see a uh, window right here. If you don't, hit the components. This gives you the tools um, at your disposal to add elements of your web page. And um, you can uh, essentially start by dragging and dropping elements as you see fit. Um, you may have the need for certain components and certain navigational elements. Um, through your web page, and, and in this case, I'm just simply um, dragging elements willy nilly, but you get the general idea. Um, you can move things around, put them in subsets of each other, and, um, uh, and generally go about uh, editing things pretty intuitively. If you'd like to change uh, specific content, you just double click and you can change that to be main, for example. And I'm going to call that. Uh, Let's see. Let's me let me call that uh, Rio's site. And once you're happy with what your interactions are looking like, you can actually hit the wrench icon here, and it will change it to the preview format, where not, when you do interact with it, you don't actually end up modifying that. You can sort of click around. Now, one of the things that uh, I have noticed and uh, is that uh, Jetstrap requires you to create new screens for every single page um, and you have to link to them um, as such and so essentially you do have to create uh, separate pages for each of these uh, pages that you're creating but uh, it gets you really quickly to the form that you'd like to. One other thing that I want to share is the four icons on the top right. These will give you a preview of how your website is going to look like on different display formats. In some cases they scale pretty nicely. As you start making things complicated I urge you to keep in mind that they, things do end up uh, positioning, them, positioning themselves in unpredictable ways. So um, in some cases if you are going to stay with a mobile format tools like Kodaka might be more appropriate. Once you're happy with what you have, you just have to click on the little gear icon and hit the icon uh, below that is export HTML. And what it does is it gives you a zipped file of all the component, all the things necessary to render your page. So in this case, you get two folders, two uh, files, index, and a folder called assets. So while you can put this into your Dropbox and uh, share the public link so that it works online like as if you would uh, basically uploading it to a web page. In this case I have a domain called hciclass.com so as a quick demonstration I'm going to upload these by dragging and dropping them into this. If you don't have hosting you can purchase them. Stanford provides web AFS which allows you to do the same. And once you do that we can then take a look at um, hciclass.com and I don't need to go to any sub URL because it's loaded as by default. And here we are, we've got um, our uh, web page. Um, still pretty bare bones, but um, you can also try and resize it and you'll notice that it scales pretty nicely. So there you have it. In five minutes, you've, or uh, in less than five minutes, you have your own uh, website. Jetstrap is the way to go. Uh, give it a whirl and uh, hopefully it serves you well.